good morning from the doctor's office at 8 15 in the morning the the patient parking lot was full even though i got here before the place opened so i think i parked in like the next town over so now we uh we wait and see if i can get my um get my brace adjusted so that i can kind of flex my knee normally well I, it wouldn't be normally but like a little bit instead of having like full extension so uh, i don't know i'm hoping it's today but i am prepared to am i prepared to accept that it's not today i think so maybe not i don't know but we'll cross our fingers that i can you know not have it in full extension the whole time just because i'm my look my leg looks so sad it's like so I don't know. It just looked pathetic compared to the other one, or what it looked like a month ago, so. Oh well, um, part of the process, but we'll see how it goes. So that was a lot of nothing, actually. The, uh, <laughs> one of the, one of the physician assistants came in and let me know at, like, almost 9 a.m. after my appointment was at 8.15 that, you know, the doctor's running behind. And I, you know, I, I'm not really upset with that because you never really know. But I understand that like how some people can get mad because my appointment was like the first or second appointment of the day. And frankly, I did it so I wouldn't have to deal with like all the delays. But again, you never know what's gonna happen and I'm not really mad at it. That being said, I am a little disappointed that we don't get to uh, unlock the brace a little bit this time. According to his, uh, his protocol, it's at six weeks, we go to 90 degrees. We kind of skip the 60 degree part. And the 60 degree part was what I'd read on the like Mass General site. And everybody has a different protocol. So again, I'm not like mad at it, but I am a little disappointed. I sound like a parent, like I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. You know, it's true though, like each one of these visits, each one of these appointments, I always hope for some sort of like tangible progress. And today uh, there wasn't any, you know, last time I went to the doctor, it was stitches come out and you get to shower again for the first time properly like cool that's a huge step in the right direction um you know at pt it's always actively doing something to push us forward but unfortunately this one and i understand the utility of these sorts of visits you know you show up and we make sure that everything is you know going well and if it's not going well it's like a you know a safety net kind of a deal and I understand the utility of that, but it is still, and even though I understand it like cerebrally, like I, I, I get it, uh, it still feels crappier than I would have hoped, but is what it is. Tomorrow and Friday are my next physical therapy appointments. And uh, with any luck, we'll be able to make some good progress there. I've been keeping up nicely with my physical therapy exercises and I'm you know, hopeful that we can start doing, I don't know, we can start kind of continuing to move forward. So despite not being able to unlock my brace, I can still do all of my exercises and continue to push forward with my PT. I was talking to a neighbor, I don't know, a week or so ago, and this particular person had shoulder surgery. And I really don't think this person understood what happened to the shoulder. Um, I was told that all four of the rotator cuff muscles were completely torn and that the muscle rolled down the arm to the elbow. And my first thought as understanding human anatomy was no. And then of course I was shown the scar and they looked a lot like my shoulder scars. So I'm pretty sure it was a labrum and not any of the rotator cuff stuff. This person was telling me that they started to feel better and uh, stopped doing their PT exercises. And now they are uh, maybe 75, 80% after eight months and really haven't gotten any better over the last uh, two or three. You know, it sucks, but you have to do your PT, like run through the finish line. You know, you, this is a, a time where you get all this attention to get you better. I mean, you might as well use it to try to leap forward a little bit. One of the reasons I chose the, my current PT was that they deal with athletes who want to be better on the other side of an injury than when, than right when they started. And that's exactly what I want to do. So. I, uh, I don't remember the last time you saw this, but this is a lot more bending that I can do, even like barely any pressure right now in the knee. 
This is a lot more than I could do uh, the last time I showed you. And my quad muscle looks like there's like muscle in there still, as opposed to just being a <laughs> hot bag of goo. Don't get me wrong, compared to the left one, it still looks like a hot bag of goo, but... <sighs> but we still do our exercises and we are graduating a little bit. <laughs> we did some wild stuff at PT the other day, and I'm gonna try to bring in my camera and see if he'll let me, my PT will let me like do some content for both of us, really. They have a, a social media account that's not very big, but I don't know if you can see from that far away, but like there's a line here that wasn't there, um, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. So I can see that. You can kind of see my vastus medialis over here. I don't know if you can probably not see from there, but this one you might be able to see pretty easily. Uh, we'll see what happens with the, the camera, but this this muscle, the vastus medialis, is the big one in the middle there. And uh, yep, that's still there. It's uh, it's coming along nicely. So I squeeze the hell out of my quad muscle. Oh, come on. <clears throat> and I try to hold it for 10 seconds, but after a while I start to get a little tired and it doesn't want to go. And then I relax. The problem I have mentally with this is that I feel like I'm just trying to strengthen the muscle connection to my brain. So the motor neuron unit is just like, <clears throat> doesn't want to do it. And the more I flex this muscle, and the more I wake it up, the better it starts to get. I mean, it's kind of like if you don't use it, you lose it. And I have to teach myself again how to use this muscle because I've been in extension, like with a straight leg with the brace, for uh, four weeks now. And that has sucked. <laughs> but part of this actually is just warming up because the other day I, we worked on uh, straight leg raises and it's, uh, it's, you know, those are hard. They're, uh, they're hard for anybody, but my kicker was I need the quad to be strong enough that the entire leg lifts at the same time, as opposed to my knee kind of popping up first, kind of like this. And I don't want to do that. So I want to get stronger. So we're going to warm this up handsomely and see if we can't get there. One of the things we recently done at PT that I was really mad I didn't get this on video the first time it happened, but maybe we'll do it the second time, is um, the e stim stuff. Essentially, they put a couple of electrodes on your muscle, and then we try to figure out when the electrical stimulation flexes my quad without me doing anything, right? And for me, that was about a seven and a half on the scale. I don't know what that means. <sighs> but what we'll do is <laughs> I would flex my quad as hard as I can and just go absolutely insane about it. And then he turns it up to seven and a half. And then that makes me <laughs> flex more muscles that I'm not really controlling. <laughs> and it's pretty wild. It's more just to teach the, the muscle that you can do more, I promise you. Here's the simulation for it. And I need to teach myself how to do that stimulation by myself. So we will continue to warm this up and I'll see if I can do a straight leg raise. Holy shit, I did it. Whoa, okay. Whoo. That was, uh, easier than I thought it was going to be. It was not a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done in my life, but uh, the first like 9, 10, 12 times we did it, I had some help. Kind of the last time we did it at my last PT session, I had no help. Yeah, sweet, so I can do that now. I'm gonna go do it a bunch of times until I get uh, uh, really tired and or really sore. Because I can do that now, and that's okay. Because I'm a month out and I need to fix the crap that's going on in here. And sometimes it's uncomfortable, but through the finish line, we make it stronger.